Hello cả nhà, chào mừng mọi người tới với kênh Cuộc Sống Mỹ Hoàng Nguyên hôm nay Thì hôm nay mình sẽ chia sẻ về cái clip về những cái câu tự vận khó ở trong cái phần thi quốc tịch N400 của mình Thì mình có download lại trên cái kênh mà US Citizenship á Thì họ giải thích rất là rõ ràng cặn kẽ những cái từ vận khó á thì um, nếu mà anh chị có thi uh, quốc tịch sau này á, thì uh, mời các bạn tham khảo uh, học hết những cái câu từ vận khó này khi người ta hỏi mình giải thích rõ ràng cặn kẽ thì mình uh, sẽ đậu sạch nhé nào mời các bạn uh, tham khảo clip sau đây của mình nha Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit, a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. Crime. What is a crime? An action that breaks the law. Offense. What does offense mean? A minor crime. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in prison or jail? No. Prison or jail. What is prison or jail? A place where criminals are kept. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Register to vote. What does register to vote mean? To sign up to vote. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Vote. What does vote mean? To elect new leaders. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? No. Arrested. Explain the meaning of arrested. Handcuffed by the police. Cited. Explain the meaning of cited. Given a ticket by police. Detained. Explain the meaning of detained. Police ask you questions and you can't leave. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No. Prostitute. What is a prostitute? People pay you for sex. Procure. What does procure mean? You pay someone for sex. Were you ever involved in any way with forcing, or trying to force, someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relation? No. Forcing sexual contact or relations. What does forcing sexual contact or relations mean? To make someone have sex when they do not want to. Did you ever sell, give or provide weapons to any person? No. Weapons. 
What does weapons mean? Gun, knife, bomb. Do you now have, or did you ever have, a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No. Title of nobility or hereditary title. What does title of nobility or hereditary title mean? King, queen, prince, princess. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. Habitual drunkard. Do you understanding the meaning of habitual drunkard? Drinks too much alcohol every day. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No. Legally incompetent. What is legally incompetent? I have a problem with my brain. I can't take care of myself. Mental institution. What is mental institution? Hospital for people with mental problem. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. False, fraudulent, or misleading. What does false, fraudulent, or misleading mean? To say or do something that is not true. Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? No. Immigration benefit. What is immigration benefit? Things like a visa green card or citizenship. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No. Claim to be a U.S. citizen. Do you know the meaning of claim to be a U.S. citizen? Say you are a U.S. citizen but you are not. Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No. Persecute. What does persecute mean? To hurt someone badly who is different from you. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No. Illegal gambling. Tell me what illegal gambling means. Play cards for money and don't pay taxes. Were you ever involved in any way with genocide? No. Genocide. Do you know what genocide means? Kill a group of people because of race, religion, or culture. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. Public benefit. What does public benefit mean? Food stamps, welfare, free health insurance. Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated with the Communist Party? No. Communist Party. What is Communist Party? 
No freedom like China, Cuba, North Korea. Were you ever involved in any way with killing or trying to kill someone? No. Kill. What does kill mean? Cause someone to die. Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. File a tax return. What does file a tax return mean? To send tax paperwork to the government. Were you ever involved in any way with torture? No. Torture. What is torture? Hurt someone badly for information. Have you ever failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? No. Alimony. Could you explain to me what alimony is? Money you pay to a spouse after divorce. Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated with a terrorist organization? No. Terrorist organization. What is terrorist organization? Groups that use violence to get what they want. Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? No. Smuggle drugs. What does smuggle drugs mean? Hide drugs to sell illegally. Illegal drugs or narcotics. What does illegal drugs or narcotics mean? Drugs like cocaine, heroin. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No. Convicted. Do you know what convicted means? A judge says you are guilty. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No. Bigamy. What is bigamy? Married to more than one person at the same time. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No. Owe taxes. Do you know the meaning of owe taxes? I have not paid taxes. I still need to pay. Overdue. Do you know the meaning of overdue? Late or not on time. Have you ever called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. Non-U.S. resident. What is a non-U.S. resident? A non-resident does not live in the United States. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. Oath of allegiance. What is an oath of allegiance? 
a promise to be loyal to the United States. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes. Bear arms. Do you understand what bear arms means? Carry a gun to defend the United States. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. Non-combatant services. What does non-combatant services mean? Work in the army with no weapon like nurse, cook. Do you support the constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes. The constitution. What is the constitution? The supreme law of the land. Form of government. What is form of government? Democracy. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes. Work of national importance. What is work of national importance? Help in a big emergency, like a tornado, flood or fire. Civilian direction. What does civilian direction mean? Listen to safety officers, like the Red Cross.